Hey guys, so before we get to this uh, interview with Chloe as to what it's like to work in a used bookstore, I'd like to just preface this by saying uh, Chloe is my favorite Instagram poster. Uh, um, I've been following her for a while now. I didn't say it, but I'm linking her Instagram in the description below. I encourage everybody who sees this video, follow her. There's the funniest content she puts up there and finds. It's very enjoyable and amusing. So um, check her out. I'd like to thank uh, Wonder Books and Videos. You guys were just gracious hosts. Uh, Joey and Spencer, it was a pleasure meeting you two if you guys see this. And also, thank you so much for setting me up with, with the owner. I got to see one of the most remarkable... Uh, book processing uh, centers I've ever seen where every aspect of the book is utilized and uh, so I talked to Chuck he's a, he's a, a really great guy and and come winter I will be uh, setting up something uh, an interview with him and, and he's going to uh, talk on camera and show you through the process and uh, it was just phenomenal but you know not to take away from this video but that will be coming um, in the future. One thing that I forgot to do in this video was, uh, I, based on time restraints, I forgot that the, the shop is even much bigger than what was seen, okay? And so I kind of regret that now, but they have a huge comic book section, graphic novel section. They have sections on everything you could want or find. Very large children's section. So forgive me for not showing the entirety of the shop. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this interview and, uh, I, I had a great time and special thanks to you, Chloe. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. So without further ado, let's get to the interview. Hey guys, I'm here with Chloe. I'm at Wonder Book and Video and I thought it would be really interesting. I, I reached out to her through her Instagram. She'll give that to you guys in a minute as to what it's like working in a used bookstore. So I haven't done a video like this. I thought it would be fun. I love your Instagram. It, it's a lot of fun. You find a lot of funny titles and whatnot and content. So, <laughs> and could you give your Instagram real quick, Chloe? Uh, it's books by Lemieux, mm -hmm. underscores in between. So look her up. I think you guys would really enjoy it. There's some real clever stuff on there. So I reached out, I'm in Maryland right now. And, uh, yeah, so how long were you working at Wonder Books here? Uh, I was here for about nine months. I loved it. It was the best job I've ever had. I started at the warehouse, and then I transitioned to the store, mm -hmm. and both of them were just fantastic for their own reasons. I came away with about 600 books out of the process, so <laughs> made out like a bandit. That, that's awesome. Now, yeah. what, what was your favorite aspect about working in a used bookstore? Is there anything that stands out? Oh, man, um, other than the obvious... And my friends that worked here, not my friends, they became my friends working here. It's like hanging out in a bookstore with your friends all day. And the, everybody that works here is just so nice. Everybody's got such a good vibe. Um, the people that come in here are so nice. They're just chilling, just, you know, want to get some books. Now, you can now, find anything for me. Mm -hmm. Now, was it what you expected? or was? Um, it's better than I expected. Mm -hmm. I kind of thought it'd be like, I don't know boring but just kind of quiet and low-key and mm -hmm. it's just it's so much fun there's always something new there's always something to do mm -hmm. there's always stuff to look at there's new stuff coming in every day and i'm just excited to look through it that's it's awesome. like christmas that's awesome it yeah. is absolutely now what what kind of books do you like to read i should um i typically gravitate towards like horror thriller stuff that can like keep my attention mm -hmm. um versus like you know romance or something or mm -hmm. politics i don't typically read too much mm -hmm. um lots of science books mm -hmm. love those and if you follow her instagram you'll see your spirit animals the unicorn <laughs> I, I am obsessed with unicorns i find them everywhere yeah, <laughs> yeah. So many. what were some of the most interesting books you've come across since you've been here oh, anything man. stand out um Definitely this first edition of Mark Twain that I pulled out of a crusty box in the warehouse that just was surrounded by trash. And I was like, wow, this looks super nice and leather bound and Mark Twain. And then I'm like going through it and I'm like, oh man, this is getting more valuable by the page. I need to like get this to the owner. Right now. And um, yeah, just, I, I just find so much just like books from the 1800s, stuff that's falling apart, stuff that's in great condition, time travelers, if you will. Um, now, what attracts, what, what's the attraction with books? I like that just every single one is different. Every single one has like a little story. And it even goes further to where they're like personalized with little notes. So people used to write notes in their books yeah. all the time, like Christmas gifts or 
you know, it just feels like a meaningful gift. Um, the book plates are another kind of like little personalization uh, yeah. aspect. Yeah. Sometimes there's little book tags from the sellers, like right in the bottom corner. Sure. Love those. <laughs> there's just so many cool little different things about the books that are just unique and make each one like really special. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, now, what have you learned through working in a used bookstore? Oh, I've learned so much about books. I've learned how to... Um, identify first editions what's valuable what's not what's what's real what's fake what's a facsimile what's mm -hmm. um i don't know i've just kind of learned so much about all the different types of books and i, I when i first started i didn't even know what a novel was mm -hmm. i was like they're like put the novels to the side i'm like that's a novel. <laughs> like so i just now i feel like so you definitely picked up on some. Oh, so much. Uh, it's also because I wanted to learn so yeah. much that I was just soaking it all in, asking questions. I just wanted to know everything. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, working this job here, is it, would you say it's one of your favorite, you know, things you've done or whatever? Easily. It's yeah. Easily my favorite job by far. I mean, it just really stands out from the rest. It was fun. I loved it. I was excited to go to work every day. What am I going to find? In, in terms of your, uh, you know, working here, you worked in the warehouse a, as well. What yeah. do you prefer, warehouse or the storefront? Oh, I get asked that all the time. I actually loved both of them for different reasons. So, like, warehouse, um, it's not really a social environment, but mm -hmm. the content of stuff that we get there is yeah. so different and the volume that we get it's it's all new whereas i come in here you know most of them have been here for a while we get yes. some of the new books but they're everyday boxes and boxes and pallets of new stuff every day and i'm just digging through it like what am i gonna find it's christmas it really is and then here like the social aspect is fantastic i love mm -hmm. the customers that come in we get such good clients and uh, now if somebody wants to work in a bookstore what, what would you say they they could expect is it different than what you thought it would be? Um, yeah, it's like a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. It's um, a lot more rewarding than I would have thought, especially because I like books. Mm -hmm. If you don't really like books, you're just kind of like, meh, just, <laughs> you know, shelving stuff alphabetically. But if you like books, it's like, wow, I get to be around all these cool um, books all day and mm -hmm. stuff that I haven't seen, and you kind of get to shop on the job. Is there, is there a physical aspect of the job that people might not think about? You uh, definitely are lifting a lot. Mm -hmm. You're constantly lifting, like, banker's boxes full of books. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. make sure you can lift, go strong back, mm -hmm. do some stretches before you come in. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you're going to feel like a you know, 60-year-old man at the end of the day. It, it happens for sure. Yeah. So it, that's probably a different aspect. You're not sitting around drinking coffee all day. No, no. You know. No, you're definitely lifting all day. You're there's always something to do. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you're just kind of like, mm, there's something to do. <laughs> um, do. Do you have any aspirations of opening your own shop someday? or um, As much as I would love that, I think I'd rather just maybe work for someone who's already established so I don't have to go through all those hoops and mm -hmm. just kind of like work up from there mm -hmm. versus, you know, trying to go through the effort of starting my own and the kind of scary Pri aspect of if it's going to work or not, mm -hmm. it's going to fail. It's gonna, I'd rather just go to someone who's already established and work up from there. Pretty big learning curve yes. to, to do it, huh? But, but you've had an insight now as oh, yeah. to the business oh, yeah. and the operation. Mm -hmm. So that that's pretty awesome. A lot of people don't get to yeah. see that inner working. Oh, so. it, it, there's definitely a lot of like moving parts that have to work for the entire thing to work and if mm -hmm. one of them stops and there's like this chain reaction and like we need to get that fixed otherwise everything kind of starts to back up and fall apart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's definitely a very smooth oiled <laughs> machine um, machine yeah that's that's awesome well if you if you don't mind would you take me around the shop maybe we can see yeah. there's one thing in particular that really surprised me and about the uh, with yeah. the colors and the Looks binding. Right would would you care to show and, and talk oh, yeah. about that for a minute? Yeah, okay, definitely. Let's do it. All right, Chloe, talk about these up here. The books by the foot. What's what's the idea behind this? So this here is actually a genius way to kind of save all the books that were otherwise going to be thrown out or pulped or recycled mm -hmm. because you know nobody really wants to buy them or read them, but mm -hmm. they still look great, especially color coded. People want like. Um, their office is decorated, their homes decorated, mm -hmm. uh, movie sets. We get a lot of movie sets. Mm -hmm. that want, you know, just 
whatever it is and we have it typically just due to the volume of books that we get mm -hmm. and it was kind of sad to just see all these kind of get tossed out or sitting on a shelf indefinitely mm -hmm. and so um i guess they had seen something online and they're like hey we have all these books still left over why don't we kind of do this and as soon as that went up it took off People and loved it you said this is like one of the best sellers yes. in the store so this actually makes the most money in the entire that's company unbe that's unbelievable the entire company yeah so this took off right away i mean we get like hundred thousand dollar orders like multiple times a week in hotels are buying them hotel yeah we had a hotel offshore by uh, like a hundred thousand dollars worth of blue books they had a blue hotel they wanted all blue books so like that over there is basically what they had ordered up on that top shelf mm -hmm. oh it was crazy this now did you do some of this did you, would you uh, uh sort them like yeah. the cheap yeah yeah so like they still have a cover on a lot mm -hmm. of the times but um we typically look for like white ones mm -hmm. pink ones um, sometimes it's like tan brown one and gray ones. Now, now have you ever seen best. another bookstore do something like this? No, I have not. I have never seen it. I think it's genius. It's awesome. It's such a good way to save these books that otherwise wouldn't have a home. Mm -hmm. And even if it's just like for the way that they look, why yeah. not? They're all sitting on a shelf anyways. Yeah, there's some blue. I was just blown away yeah. by this. So oh, and they got them in the color. back there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll do like color schemes. They'll do rainbows. They'll do whatever that's incredible now it's this fantastic. is one of three shops it in is. maryland yes. okay so this is actually the first one the biggest one the best one <laughs> uh, then we have one in hagerstown and gaithersburg they're mm -hmm. a little smaller but still okay definitely do and just to let you guys stuff. know we're in frederick maryland right now yes. so okay and, and would you would you mind taking around the store show, show them off a little bit yeah. So this is the rental section. We still do rentals, kind of like Blockbuster, and we still get a ton of business from it, me included. <laughs> we rent movies all the time. Um, so, so people are still did not, because oh, everybody oh, hacks on me about that they you stream everything. No, and they go, why are you buying DVDs? Yeah, but, no, I totally get it. But at this point, they're almost cheaper to buy them here. And especially mm -hmm. like renting something for three ninety nine mm -hmm. that just came out of the theater versus trying to buy or rent it for like $19 mm -hmm. on yeah. Amazon. It's like, oh, so, so this is all yeah. you got cds yeah so you have the cds back here then we go into vinyl so you got a ton of vinyls everywhere we have lots of uh, um, electronics to play stuff on so it's not just books no not we sell everything we got now what does what does better the books or the uh or the other media i'd say probably the books Okay. Yeah, All definitely. Right. But this is still like a huge part, like fifty percent of it. Yeah. I'm a, so we're gonna take you through through the children's books. You got the Oz series here. Yeah. So this is all our vintage children's books. They're in the cases. They're a little more expensive. Got like mm -hmm. old classic Dr. Seuss's here. We've got fairy books in here. Really, just whatever you can want. Give you guys a quick, a quick look. It's tough doing this on camera with the glare, but yeah. it's all right. <laughs> Pooh Corner. No. What's one of the coolest books that have come in this shop since you've been here? You say you got a um, Tolkien. Oh, yeah, yeah. We get, like, first edition Tolkien's. But I think the coolest one so far was probably that Milton's Paradise Lost that I picked up on a shelf the other day. It was just uh, perfect. Dore illustration? Dore illustrated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. That, Massive, gilded cover. That's all. You love the covers. I love the covers. It's an art. It really is. They don't do that anymore. No. Nah, it's a bad nah. degree. Oh. Yeah, this is my favorite section. Um, this is like what we call beautiful books, but like mm -hmm. the old vintage, like books like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just think they're stunning. Mm -hmm. Look at these covers. They're just so intricate, beautiful. A lot of them have like old inscriptions on the inside, and it's just really nice. Yeah, they definitely don't. They don't make them like this anymore. That's yeah, for sure. Definitely. I just love it. We spend all day, sometimes right in here. Just at them all. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, it's a fun way to spend my time. Better That's, than I'm typing on a computer. Yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take these guys. Just show them the cases yeah. over here. You want to show them off? Yeah. yeah. There's there's a lot of treasures in here. There is. So this is like our um, literature. Fiction, nonfiction, anything mm -hmm. that's just um, probably like forty dollars and up. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are signed, mm -hmm. so that's really cool. It's so awesome. I really love this section. I come through here every time I come into work to see what new mm -hmm. came in. There's it's something for everyone in this shop. There is. 
There is a book about everything. Uh, I'm convinced. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Chloe, I, I appreciate your time showing yeah, me all absolutely. this. So, I th is there anything else you want to show? Um, Are you good? <laughs> all right. Well, any closing words? Just say goodbye. You guys have give out your uh, account again. To Come to Wonderbook. I love it. We'd love to see you here. We'd love your business, and I think you would love the store. Absolutely. Yeah. So follow her on Instagram, guys. She posts some great stuff for the material coming in. Yeah. And um, it's a lot of fun. So thank you very much, <laughs> Chloe, for taking yes. me around. Okay. Oh, it's been a so real welcome. pleasure. Okay. Same. All right. We'll see you guys. All right. Till next time.